Hello, I'm Keith Birrell from Real General Practice. Real General Practice, preparing you for real general practice. The following audio clip is a consultation with Sandra about a thyroid lump. Let's hear it for our GP. A way of looking inside holistically. Bring out the changes with our GP. Skills improving, risk removing, no confusing. Good morning. Good morning. Hi there, Sandra. Nice to see you. How are you? Can I just check your date of birth? Yes. Perfect. Great. Okay. Um, how can I help you today? Um, I've noticed that I have a, a lump um, just about here. Hmm. Um, and sometimes it looks a little bit visible. Um, but I'm not quite sure if it's anything or just nothing. Or okay. So I just thought I'd come and ask you about it today. Before we go any further, is it okay if I just check, is there anything else that you're hoping to discuss? Um, not really, no. No, oh, just okay. fine. It's and that fine. lump's been there for a wee while? It's been there um, possibly about six months or so, oh, okay. maybe a bit longer than that. Um, but I, I just sort of ignored it at first, but I'm not quite sure if it's getting a little bit bigger or yeah. or it's not. I don't know if it's my imagination. Okay. <laughs> it's just... Um, so when you first found it, you weren't particularly anxious. Why today? Um, I just thought, oh, that's unusual. Yeah. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just keep an eye on it and see see what happens. But What do you think it might be? Um... I've no idea. Um, I'm uh, obviously, hopefully, it's not cancer, but mm-hmm. hopefully, it's nothing. Um, so I you want to rule cancer out, don't you? I, yeah. I do. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know if it's maybe because I've put some weight on. Is it? Is it weight mm. that could maybe do that, <laughs> or is it not? Sure. Sort okay. Of thing. So. Realistically, what do you think it is? <laughs> Realistically, well, I hope, I hope it's not cancer. So, other than that, I don't know what it You're could not be. Sure. You not know, sure. you haven't had um, any, not spoken to anybody or read anything or anything. No, like no, 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 I haven't okay. read anything about it. Okay, just so we can get a better feel for what might be going on, mm. I'm just going to ask you some questions in that regard, if that's okay. Nothing in your family, thyroid wise. No, no, no okay. not in my family. And your weight is okay. You're okay in yourself. Well, I'm a little bit overweight and I'm trying to lose weight. Okay. So, because I do feel heavier than I should be. Well, I'm heavier than I should be. Um, and I, I'm not comfortable with it because I've always been quite slender yeah. for most of my life to probably the last... Have you gained weight? Um, not recently. Not really. no, no, no. I've lost okay. weight and then put weight back on and so tried to lose it. bounces up and down, OK. But that's only... Any lump to bumps lost. anywhere else at all? I've had lumps removed from my breast mm. um, and they were... Benign, is that okay. right? Not they yeah. weren't cancerous. Um, is there anything in the family? My of sister's had lumps removed as well. Cancers or anything? Um, Just lumps, yeah. There's leukaemia. Mm. Um, my sister was diagnosed two years ago with lung cancer. Oh, crikey. Um, she's still gone. <laughs> is she a smoker? No. 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 And you don't smoke either? No. No, okay. No. So no lumps or lumps anywhere else. Any other symptoms that might make you worried at all? Sweats at night or? Well, I had a full hysterectomy when I was about 51. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've, I've, that was with the ovaries as well. So, well, I was already going, I was premenopausal anyway, yeah. and then that kicked off it fully blown. Do you and I'm still, with that? I'm still so suffering the, from that, but that seems to be easing off. Okay, so not quite right, but your general health otherwise, um, health... We, we don't see a lot of you, do we? No. You had a mini stroke back in That's February right. of uh, 2016. Yeah. Uh, no further episodes like that at all. No. And no changes in your medication recently. No. And you, the medication you're on at the moment includes a statin and a, a medicine to stop your blood from being sticky. Your blood pressure's always been okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Nothing else that we need to concentrate <clears throat> up, apart from this lump. Um, I, except I did, I did stop taking the statins. Obviously, there's always ah, things okay. for me. I, I mean, I haven't. Uh, they're there, but I, I, I'm sort of a bit concerned because I was worried that the the doctor the last time said something about my liver. Yeah. Um, the results from the blood tests were a bit high or something. Okay. Um, and just had to come back and get them tested after a couple of months, but I never did, obviously. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> did they suit you, or was it just down um, to the liver but function I don't, test? I don't, yeah. I don't know, because I just felt my urine was becoming quite yellow. Um, I recently had an eye test, 
and he said my eyes were slightly yellowish. Right. So I don't, I don't know. We need to talk to you about your fears about this statin and decide with you if statins are right for you, if that's okay. And I've got a number of considerations for that. But because you've had a mini stroke, we want to do everything possible to keep the risk of future strokes to a minimum. Mm. Your priority today is your lump in your neck, so let's do that today. <laughs> and can okay. we do the, the statin thing ne- okay. next time, if that's yeah, okay? Yeah. I suspect you might want to take a statin again at a lower dose because right. it doesn't sound like it was causing any major harm and the liver function mm-hmm. test is probably a, a side show. But we'll right. come back to that, okay. okay? But let's focus on the neck, <clears throat> if, if that's all right. Being there for about six months, got a little bit bigger, decided very recently to come and talk to me about it to try and rule out mm-hmm. cancer. Was there anything in particular that you were hoping I would do today for you? Not really. Uh, not just, really. Just, just talk give to an you, opinion just about to, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who's at home with you? Just my husband, but he's at work. Yeah. And what I'm is, supposed to be at work. Did he have an opinion about this at all? He doesn't know. <laughs> I haven't not, mentioned it to him. Not yet. discussed it with him. No, no. Doesn't no, even no. know that he's not no, never no, noticed no, anything. No, no. No. Okay. Well that's helpful to know. But I can when I look in the mirror I can see, you see, you can a see bit something. of a lump, yeah. Okay, uh, well fine. a raise Good. I'll give you an opinion about that in a, in, a, in a minute and then we'll decide what to do about it. In in, in other respects you already mentioned you're, you're not a smoker, nor the habits that I need to know about. You're not a big drinker or anything like that. No, no. no. a glass of wine. Don't know what you're getting for Work wise. Work wise, I work full time. What do you uh, do? I work for Age UK Sunderland okay. and I, I manage all of their physical activities Wonderful. and courses. Okay. So I was a curriculum manager in a college for full many years, full time. Yeah, great. Yeah, and work's going time. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. You look happy otherwise. Yeah. You do your blood pressure review. We'll do that as a part of the, the kind of statin check, if right. that's okay. okay. We're going to focus on, on your neck today. So you've noticed a lump here. Mm. Uh, and when is that lump visible to you? Well, it looks, when every time I look in the mirror, I can see a certain angle, I can see a slight raise mm-hmm. in the skin here, just here. Um, and then if I sort of go like that, I could feel the lump Got you. underneath. Right. <laughs> right. But no lumps anywhere else, no lumps on your armpits, no, mm-hmm. no new lumps in your breast at all. They, they feel no, all the same yeah, as usual. Yeah. And as you say, your weight's been fairly static. So I'm just going to have a wee look from the front and then I'm going to go around the back. And there's no goiters in the family, no thyroid swellings in the family. Not that I'm aware of, no. Just going to come round the side. Can you swallow for me? <clears throat> and that that swelling that. moves with the with the swallow, doesn't it? Can you feel it as well, just mm-hmm. to check that yeah, I'm feeling the same yeah. thing? Yeah. yeah, so it moves when you swallow, doesn't it? So that's your thyroid gland. All right. And it's not a sinister or worrying-looking lump. Oh, good. <laughs> which is good news for you. Um, and it's diffuse, which means that... I can feel the whole of the thyroid gland. Right. So, it, again, that's a reassuring um, thing that, that makes me think that it's not something that we need to worry about. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Having said all of that, then you'll probably be more comfortable if I scan the neck just to confirm that that's what it is. If that's what I'm, it is. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what you've said or, already. We don't need to scan it because in, in about a quarter of, of women... I'll be able to feel their thyroid glands right. anyway. Okay. And it may just be incidental that you can now notice it. But you don't, from what you've already told me, have any symptoms that make me think that your thyroid function has changed significantly. And so okay. underactive thyroids and overactive thyroids sometimes are linked with thyroid swellings. Right. And the sort of symptoms that you might expect to find with an overactive thyroid is weight loss and tremor, feeling anxious, and right. some other things related to that, so diarrhea potentially. And underactive thyroid, tiredness and constipation, dryness of the skin can all be linked with underactive thyroid. And you've not noticed any of those things. Not either. really, no. So those are reassuring. But why don't we do a two blood tests for your thyroid? And one would, which checks the, the activity of your thyroid gland and one which is an antibody test which tries to predict the future about okay. are you likely to have problems with your thyroid in the future? So that would be useful. So that's a uh, what's the thyroid peroxidase um, antibody test. Right. Okay. Too many n- <laughs> names there, but it's, yeah. it's it's a test to try and predict the future of what's going to go on with your mm. thyroid gland to, to find out are you likely to have problems with the activity of your thyroid. Mm. And if you'd like me to, but I'm not putting any pressure on you, then you might want me to organise an ultrasound scan of your thyroid gland just to reassure you. 
if you don't think it's necessary, I don't want to waste time or, or waste, you know, the resources that we have available. So if you don't think it's necessary, then I, I, I won't go for it because it's time as well from work and things okay. like that. So, but if you if you if you're, I'm not worried from examining your thyroid. Is right, what I'm saying. Okay. So why don't you touch base with your husband? Um, <laughs> and now, now you can okay. share that that yeah. we've decided that you appear to have a, a swelling of your gland, your thyroid gland in your neck. And the doctor girl says he sees them all the time. Okay. It doesn't feel like a worrying thyroid gland at all. But if it's changing, we scan it. Okay. If it stays as it is, then we don't scan it. Okay. But if you want to, if you decide that you want to scan, I'll organise that scan. Right. Does Not that make sense? Yes, yes. So we'll arrange a blood test fine. within the next... Um, well, you, okay. you had your thyroid checked last year and that was fine. Right. We'll do it again now okay. um, and we'll do that antibody test. You'll have a chat with your husband and then give me a call if you decide that you want to scan. But otherwise, keep an eye on, on yeah. your neck. Mm -hmm. And if you're finding that there's any change in the appearance of it and usually if you're finding there's more of a lump on one side right. we'll do the scan if you just make a routine appointment to see my nurse for the blood test the results will be back within seven days okay. and if you want it just to touch base with me after the blood test has been done uh, so seven days later we'll have the results and we'll just discuss yeah. your future plans right. after that <laughs> that's wonderful I'm almost certain it's not cancer good good um, but if it develops if mm. you do find that you've got a gland in the side of the neck that's getting bigger we scan it okay that's fine that makes yeah, sense yeah 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 that's great any questions that's sort of, no that's put my mind at ease anyway so that's that's good okay. after the um, blood test results do I need to make an appointment when you get them do I need to if come see not, you or not or just well usually just a telephone consultation would be more than fine. enough to address any concerns but if you prefer to see me face to face I'm happy to do that too okay all right okay and then Fantastic. I can advise you further brilliant that's all right lovely. yeah thank you okay. very much thank you you're welcome bye, thank you. bye. let's hear it for our GP a way of looking inside holistically bring out the changes with our GP skills improving risk removing no confusion